G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. I don't know what you think of this but it might look a bit complicated. Uh, we have a fraction and it's certainly not a logarithmic pattern. The derivative of root x is not this. So we, we don't even have to attempt that. Uh, we have a trig function on the top. We might be tempted to say what's the derivative of root x, is that out the front? Uh, that would be our next step and uh, interestingly you find it is. But because we're dealing with square roots and that means fractional indices, it might be easier to substitute. Let's just go ahead with the substitution. I just deleted some rubbish. Away we go. Let u equal root x, which is x to the half of course du dx, I'll get out of your road, is the derivative of this, so it's half x to the minus a half, whoops, 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 dx is down here, and we get du equals this x to the minus a half I'm going to write as root x on the bottom times dx. So I've moved the dx up here into this position. And because this has a negative index, I'll put it on the bottom. Because it's a power of a half, I've made it a square root. And I compare it with this. I've got a dx over root x. No 2. So I multiply both sides by 2. And now we're ready to perform our substitution. We have the integral. Cosine of root x root x is u, so it's cos u, times dx over root x turns out to be 2 du, which equals 2 integral cos u du. Surprisingly simple, considering what we thought we had. There can be surprises when you have radicals, that is fractional indices. This integral, of course, leave the 2 there. This integral is sine u plus c. And then we would simply substitute back in. The u value was the square root of x. And there it is. Had you... We're, we're finished, by the way. That's the substitution. Uh, the substitution technique has helped us solve this quite nicely. How do you recognise the pattern? And how do you recognise that 1 over the square root of x with a 2 in the front, I'll try and write that more distinctly, how do you recognise that that was the derivative of root x? You would have, I hope, made this adjustment to your integral. So we would have had the same integral in black, the cos root x, the 1 over root x, the dx. But by recognising the derivative of the square root of x is 1 on 2 root x, which we did over here anyway, uh, and both dividing and multiplying by 2 in order to get that 2 in that position, you can see that we have 2 times is our 2. And this complete integral following the pattern will be the integral of cos which is sine root x plus c. So those of you who are learning patterns uh, would have solved this that quickly. And the pattern can be very worthwhile learning. Uh, I have selected a range of integrals to perform at this point in the proceeding. And I have two more to go. Uh, after that, I'll be looking at integration, more advanced techniques, integration by parts and partial fractions and things like that. And then the plan is to go on and uh, solve uh, Coronius's 100 integrals for those of you who encounter those in school. Uh, more on that later. But in the meantime, if you found that valuable, please like the video by all means leave a comment and certainly subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. 
and I thank you for watching.